I am short. That's obvious. At a whopping 410, I tower over everyone in the hallway. The elementary school hallway. Some people think being short is a bad thing, but I think being short can have many pros and cons. First pro, if you ever get in a fight with anybody, just crawl under their legs. Let's fight. Con, you can't reach anything in the top shelf of the kitchen. Pro, you look so young that you can order off the kids menu. The food is sometimes cheaper and better. Con, they always give you the little styrofoam cup and lid with your drink. I don't know why they always do that. Pro, you always win at hide and seek. Alex, Alex, where are you? Come out already, I don't know where you are. Con, you can't ride all of the roller coasters. Come on guys, it's just a ride. Pro, actually, I can't think of any more. Hey guys, I can finally reach my locker. Never mind, I'll never be able to reach my locker. Being short stinks. Take it from me. Alex Stevenson, TSC News. Imagine having the chance to make the world a better place, one child at a time. Most teens don't have the opportunity to be part of a foster family, but I'm one of the lucky ones. After many months of discussions, my parents made the decision to foster in October of 2018. It was such a positive experience that we accepted the second foster child into our home in March of 2019. Foster care is a protective service for a child where their family can no longer care for them. There are many circumstances that make it difficult for biological families to care for their children, such as poverty and mental illness. Every year, a quarter of a million children enter foster care in the United States. There are usually not enough foster homes because the amount of children outweighs the amount of parents fostering. Once a child is in foster care, they are provided with a safe, nurturing, loving family for a temporary period of time. I love being part of a foster family. I am able to watch Everlandy and Miles learn and grow. And being part of a foster family makes me feel like a superhero. Alex Stevenson, TSC News. The Lake and Ice Arenas programs have the support of the Tampa Bay Lightning hockey team. The Lightning hosts programs that teach figure skating, hockey, and outdoor ball hockey. Some of the Lightning players have even been out evaluating kids for an elite development team that they will sponsor. One big program starting on March 7th is called Learn to Play, where those ages 5 to 9 learn the skills needed to succeed on the ice, such as skating, passing, and stick handling, as well as responsibility, respect, and teamwork. I had the opportunity to speak to Tampa Bay Lightning player Alex Kalorn to find out what hockey has taught him and what his favorite part of hockey is. The Lincoln Ice Arena is home to both recreational and travel hockey teams. Plus, the Tampa Bay Lightning can even recruit players from right here in Polk County. Who knows, maybe we'll see some of you as future players on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Alex Stevenson, TSC News. Rent-A-Dog is a new program created by the Lakeland SPCA that allows the dogs to have a fun and safe adventure. Dogs there are able to interact with places outside of the adoption center. This will also give people wanting to interact with dogs a great experience with them. Some people might not be able to have dogs, whether it be a family member who's allergic or the fact that they live in an unsuitable space for them. This experience is perfect for both the renter and the dogs. The instructions are easy. Go to the Lakeland SPCA website and make a list of one to three dogs you might want to rent. Then, email the program coordinator your name, your dog choices, and the date and shift you are able to pick up the dog. If you were going to rent a dog for a day, what would you do with it? For more information or questions, contact the SPCA at rentadog at spcaflorida.org. If you have always wanted a dog, but have been unable to, talk to your family about the Rent-A-Dog program. It'll be a wonderful experience for both you and the dog. Alex Stevenson, TSZ News. Lake Gibson is full of many talented students. Five of our students auditioned for the All-State Choir. While four made it to the finals, only one made it all the way through. Eighth grader Jada Nielsen passed an intense three-part audition of music theory, sight reading, and vocal quality to be one of the 300 singers in the state of Florida selected for this amazing honor. Jada will be performing for the All-State Choir in January at the Tampa Convention Center. Congratulations, Jada. We're so proud of your amazing accomplishments. Alex Stevenson, TSC News.